Hello Sagittarius. So today I'm going to take a look at who's coming towards you. These messages are going to be timeless. So whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will apply. Just take the parts that do and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap into your energy, Sagittarius, to see what is your message. Spirit, give me some messages for Sagittarius. What is the energy? Who is coming towards Sagittarius? What is the energy? Who's coming towards Sagittarius? Okay. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So I feel like this is somebody who you've also um, done a lot of cycles with. I feel like this was a relationship where you were on and off a lot with this person. Yeah, I'm hearing multiple times. So yeah, this is somebody who you've already been in some type of connection with and you and this person was locked into a cycle i feel like for some of you it was hard for you to break free from this person but you finally did but this person is definitely coming back around to see if they can do another cycle with you sagittarius somebody wants to get you hemmed up here they want you to be stuck with them they're like no sagittarius we're not done let's do another round this is like a karmic cycle for a lot of you so this was definitely um a very toxic connection give me an energy for free yourself what's the message give me an energy for free yourself what is the energy why is this here spirit okay romance and affection I'm hearing I've changed. So this is somebody who's going to be coming back saying that they've changed. They're going to do better. This person may, you know, put on all of the bells and whistles. But it's still going to be another cycle of toxicity. Look at this. Non-committal. Yeah, this person not going to give you what you want. Somebody going to sell you a dream trigger. I'm telling you, it's toxic. This is like trauma bonding at its finest. <laughs> Let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me a message for romance and affection. Why is this here for Sagittarius? What is this? We have the Hierophant. Taurus energy. Give me another message for romance and affection. Ooh, we the devil. Listen, this is a toxic relationship, a toxic partnership for some of you. You could actually be um, married to this person or you was married to this person. If you are married to this person, like you're in separation at this time. But this is karmic, okay? Somebody was in a relationship with a karmic. I feel like it's very low vibrational things that kept you and this person together. You could have had the same habits. Give me another message for the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Wow, look at this. The Five of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So somebody feels a loss. Somebody's sad. But I feel like you have your God up to this person. Like, you don't care if they're sad. You don't care if they're hurt. Like, it's like, no. I feel like you've done this so much with this person. You already know their games. You know their tricks. You already know, like, this person is going to come back in with an apology, you know, having a pity party and you're just going to do a whole nother karmic cycle where you're going to end up receiving another one you're going to be at the 10 um you've already been disappointed by this person multiple times give me another message for the devil why is the devil here for sagittarius what is the energy <laughs> the seven of wands i mean seven of pentacles something could have to do with the seven of wands though i feel like this person could be creating a lot of blockages for you for some of you i'm getting like um you could have been waiting on this person to change and for some of you um you could have been waiting on this person to give you a commitment you could have wanted to settle down with this energy but it's like somebody was determined not to commit to you Give me an energy for the devil. I mean, with this romance and affection, they'll show you a good time, but 
they didn't want it to lead to anything more serious than that. Give me an energy on the devil. For some of you, this just could have been like a friends with benefits situation. Give me an energy on the devil, justice. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody wanted marriage. They wanted a commitment. Mm -mm. I feel like this person stood their ground. Like, absolutely not. Somebody could be a Libra, have Libra highly aspected. Why is no committal here? What's the energy? They used to want <laughs> Yeah, if this person got around, they didn't want to commit. They didn't want you cramping their style. Sagittarius, I know. Somebody like to deal with multiple lovers. They like the newness of dealing with other people. This is somebody who could get bored easily. Give me an, another energy for non-committal. I feel like for some of you, um, you may have had too many expectations for this connection. Give me an energy for non-committal. Why is non-committal here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? Why is non-committal here? What is the message? The King of Swords. This is somebody who would like be intimate with you and cut you off. Leave you with a broken heart. Three of Swords. Give me another energy for the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person didn't have time to catch feelings. Like, no, catch feelings. What are those? Give me an energy for the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Sagittarius? Strength. <laughs> Leo energy. So this person, like, knew that they were very good. When it came to intimacy. So because of this, this person had a very inflated ego. And then I'm hearing like T-Pain, I'm sprung. So yeah, this person had you sprung and other people sprung also. Give me an energy on the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here for Sagittarius? Yeah, um, the title card. I feel like there was also other people that would boost this masculine's head up as well. Yeah, somebody was very good, you know, in the bedroom and they was feeling themselves. Somebody feel like they could cut you off. They could be very cold. They didn't care. Like, you know, I could replace you type of energy. I feel like this is somebody who could have had you on rotation. Give me an energy for the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The Six of Cups. Give me another message. For the King of Swords. Why is this here? Death. So yeah. This is definitely somebody you ended um, a connection with. You could have had a family dynamic with this person. But this is somebody from your past. Yeah, something is just over. It's done. It's a wrap. Yeah. Scorpionic energy on death. Why is the Six of Cups here? What is the message? Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? Temperance. I feel like for some of you, it was time for this person to change once you came into their energy. Yeah, somebody needed to temper themselves. They needed balance. They needed to make more... <sighs> practical decisions. Somebody needed to elevate here. You know, somebody was supposed to use wisdom and, and they chose not to. Somebody wanted to stay, you know, in this player energy, non-committal. Somebody liked it in that energy. Somebody wanted to be immature. They didn't want to grow up. I have the Ten of Pentacles, but it's like this person missed out on their destiny. You were their ten. <laughs> Like, you were going to change this person's life. And this masculine just could have treated you like a queen of wands. Or this could have been a feminine here. But somebody definitely um missed out. Yeah, when you came around, it was time for this person to leave the past behind and level up. You know, come take the journey with you. 
by this person choosing to commit to you um, and put away the player ways, you were going to change this person's life for the better. This person was going to have real abundance and also real love. I'm actually hearing Mary J. Blige, real love. Yeah, for some of you, your earth angels, this person was going to partner with the earth angel. I'm also getting like this is a past life connection as well. Give me an energy for death. One more energy for death, please. What is the energy? The three of wands. Yeah, this person was supposed to come with you. That's what I'm getting. It was time for this person to, you know, turn his or her back to the past, things that no longer serve them. In order to take this journey with you. Somebody was supposed to get on board, but they didn't. For some of you, this person could have chosen like to cut you off, distance themselves from you, could have been very mean about it also. Give me an energy for trigger. I'm telling you, somebody was feeling themselves a lot. And I feel like this masculine had a lot of people around him boosting their ego, telling him what he wanted to hear, making him feel real good. Give me an energy for triggered. Why is trigger here? Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you definitely wanted a commitment out of this person, but somebody was just too toxic. Yeah, this person was not looking for anything serious at all. Even though you were their team, like, no. Somebody also um felt like they could leave you waiting, like you would just always be there. But they see now that they were sadly mistaken. Give me an energy for trigger. Like somebody wanted to leave you on hold, on pause, while they went out and had fun and dealt with other people. Why is trigger here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? Who is coming towards Sagittarius? The Emperor. Give me another message. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person um triggers you. Give me another energy. For some of you, this could be the father of your child. Give me another energy, please. For Aries. For the Emperor. What is the message? The Six of Wands. Yeah, this person cares about attention. <laughs> And it's frustrating. Yeah, it's like somebody's selfish. I don't know what else to say. They are. They're very selfish. Give me another energy for the emperor. Why is the emperor here? What is the message? Judgment. So this person does want to reconcile with you. But I, it's not for the right reasons. For some of you... You could have like a platform, it could be getting a lot of attention. Like whoever this masculine is, he likes clout. So yeah, there you have it. Someone wants you because of the clout you have, because you're the it girl or it guy at this moment. Give me an energy for the Knight of Swords. The Four of Wands. This person is going to try to rush you into a commitment. Day of Pentacles. Yeah, but it, like I said, it has a lot to do with whatever you do for work or if this person is looking at you online and is looking at what you are posting and they're seeing just how good your life is, um, just how much you have grown, you're having a glow up. That's the only reason this person wants to come back around. Like, somebody's an opportunist, okay? This person really does not mean you well. Especially if you have a platform. Like, somebody's looking at you. They're watching you rise. They're watching you, you know, meet the new milestones. Daily, weekly, monthly. And they want to be a part of that. 
It's like somebody wants you to work on a commitment. They want to rush you into a relationship. And I feel like for some of you, this person going to trigger you. Especially because of what they did to you in the past. Give me an energy on the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? And they left you waiting. Like, you had to take this journey by yourself. Like, Ten of Pentacles, this person was supposed to be sharing this with you. But it's like, no, you get to be abundant alone. You get this blessing by yourself. Because when, when it was time for this person to get on board, they said, no, let me go over here and play. Let me go over here and deal with these other options. Let me stay non-committal. And now that this person is seeing your victory, your wins, now they want to jump on board, but the time has passed for that. They already had their moment and they let it go. They let it slip away. Give me an energy on the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here for Sagittarius? What is the energy? The king of Cups. Give me another energy for the Eight of Pentacles. So now this person wants to come and express their emotions. Yeah. They want to tell you how they feel. Sagittarius. Or you want to tell this person how you feel. Take it as it resonates. For some of you, I'm getting um, cross watcher energy as well. Give me a message for free yourself. Why is free yourself here for Sagittarius? The fool. Yeah, you're done. Like you don't already left far away from the situation. You can have Aquarius highly aspected. Yeah, you're done with this cycle. You're done going around and around with this person because you're not getting anywhere. And you know, like if you take this person back, you're still not going to get anywhere. I mean, like I say, for some of you, this person is only coming back because they see you doing good. Because it's like, what other reason would they have to come back towards you? I mean, this is somebody who likes to get around. They're non-committal. They love their options. They didn't see you in the past. They didn't see your fruit in the past. So they cut you off and they went to go play. And now they're watching you having this glow up. Now they want to express how much they care about you. And want to get you into some type of relationship to work on things. Now they want to invest. So just be mindful because somebody's not coming with the right intentions. Let's pull some final messages. Spirit, give me some final messages for Sagittarius. What does this say? If I can find the card. If he's already involved, leave him alone. <laughs> I'm telling you, for some of you, this person coming back and they still have options. For some of you too, like this person could be stuck in some type of karmic cycle. Dealing with somebody who they're off and on with, but they're coming back towards you to try to offer you something. But they still haven't closed out a cycle with someone else. Bottom of the deck is keep it fresh and interesting. Yeah, this is somebody that likes newness. This is somebody that doesn't like to stick around for long. Again, this person gets bored easily. So I feel like this is more like a warning, Sagittarius. Because this person is coming back. Like I say, for some of you, it's just for clouds. And then for others of you, like this person is still dealing with other people or they have someone who they are off and on with. For some of you, this person could be trying to use you as a rebound. So be mindful of that as well. So Sagittarius, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.